y'all welcome back to my channel i'm katherine and i focus on easy diys home to corner budget and sometimes i share encouraging messages through a creative form happy juneteenth y'all although juneteenth was yesterday i'm celebrating it today tomorrow forever <laughs> for you all who are unaware of what juneteenth is juneteenth is celebrating commemorating the completion to the end of slavery so although the Emancipation Proclamation was issued two years prior, 1863, there were still people enslaved in Texas that wasn't aware that they were free yet. June 19th, Juneteenth, 1865. So we are celebrating freedom, the end of slavery in the U.S. today. Today's video, I want to acknowledge small black businesses that focuses on home decor and accessories. A few of them I've been following and supporting for a while, and there are others who are new, but I fell in love with their story and their product, and I want to share it with you today. Each owner's shop and or handle will be linked down below in the description box for you to check out. Please check them out and support. The very first shop I want to introduce you to is Golden Pearl Candle Company by Ebony. Ebony is actually my longtime trustworthy friend of 13 years. She started her candle business inside her home here in Texas. I actually have two candles with me that I've purchased. One is Cozy Night and the other one is Pumpkin Season. The Cozy Night is the one I've been burning like crazy. It has pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg in it. Y'all, it smells like a pastry shop. Ugh. And yes, I am burning it in June. So soothing. And the other one I have is the pumpkin season. This one is pumpkin, brown sugar, and spices. This smells, uh, this one smells like the nutmeg, but mixed with, this one definitely has more of a cinnamon smell to it. I've been lighting this one almost every night for weeks now, probably even months. Ironically, I have not bought any new candles. Like I go through candles a lot, but this one been filling up our entire apartment and it smells so good and it lasts very long. I also candle trimmer. She put me onto this. At first I was like, why do I need a candle trimmer? But y'all, have you ever lighted your candle multiple times and eventually when you go and light it again, there's this really huge flame. The wick start popping off this black stuff from the flame itself. Yeah, that is because you're supposed to trim your wicks. Not only do I have to worry about little stuff popping outside of the candle and getting on something potentially causing a fire, it also makes me feel really fancy to walk around with a candle trimmer. This is the style that she has inside of her shop, all black, sleek. And it looks so aesthetically good. I've styled this with my decor. You can find more information on Ebony behind the scenes and her candles at Go Pearl Candle Company on Instagram and her Etsy shop. So this next item that I want to share with you all is this illustration. This is a print from Shay. Her shop name is She Is This, and she creates illustrations that inspire women of color to love their skin and everything that comes with it. Here are a few of her prints that you can find over on Instagram. Each illustration is uniquely designed by Shay. They're full of flair, personality, and vibrant colors. I truly believe she created this with women of color in mind because you can literally find yourself in one of these photos. I've been following her for a while on Instagram when she first started this page. And when she created Jada, that is what she named her. I saw so much of myself in her. It was at the beginning of when I started wearing my hair curly. As I look at her, I see the stud earrings in a heart shape, this pom-pom top layered over a blouse bold pink lips, beautiful brown skin, big curly hair. She is a token of reminder to me to continue to wear my hair curly. This next item I am so excited to share with you all because it is a stunning wallpaper designed by Brittany at Brittany Bratt underscore. So I actually have this wallpaper on my screen. She created this racial justice wallpaper over her Etsy shop for only $1.80. Not only is this drawing beautifully done, but the message behind it is adversity. And 100% of the proceeds are donated to the cause of Black Lives Matter. I think that's so dope that she used her talent and gift, share with the world and give back. Go Brittany. So don't forget to check out her Etsy shop. It's linked down below in the description box. Y'all, I'm getting so excited about these pieces. Moving right along is this next piece that I am so darn excited to show you. I'm excited about everything, but this one take me to a whole nother level, okay? It is this beautiful detailed base from Effortless Composition and the founder's name is Brittany. She is so stunning, y'all. Like, just take a look at her. I was actually so surprised of the quality. There is some weight to this. 
I love the 2D fans. These mini fans formed around the vase gives it so much personality. And it pairs well with the decor that I already have in my office. I cannot wait to show y'all how I styled it. The team over at Effortless Composition handpicks all of their items. There are so many fresh pieces that are collected and bold and will add personality to your space. There is an array of decor from pillows, throws, unique sculptures, planters, mirrors, and so much more. There are so many pieces that have character, which is why I believe her shop is popular and will be a perfect place to shop for home decor if you wanted to add boldness or personality or character to your space. You will have to go check it out for yourself. To find more information about either this vase or any of the other products or to learn more about Brittany and her company, you can visit Effortless Composition either on her website or on Instagram. The next black business I am sharing with you is a lifestyle and accessory brand by Kel Cadet at Architect. So the item that I purchased is currently being shipped, but that's not gonna stop me from showing y'all because this piece is so stunning. This piece is so me and it's super cute. It is this bohemian leather wallet. Y'all, stop the tape. That is it, I'm done. It is so cute, y'all. Uh, it is so cute. And get this, y'all. She created the designs by hand. Over on her Instagram page, you will see her with a pen, a marker, some type of writing tool in her hand. She is drawing every dot and curve that is on this wallet. I did not expect her to do this by hand at all. So every single one of her pieces in her shop, she's literally sitting at a desk, a table, drawing out the curves, the dots, each design. That is heartfelt. You won't get that from nowhere else. So each wallet, is a little bit different. You can find passports, wallets, clutches. There are even these super functional leather cord organizers. One comes in a taco shape. You can put your earphones, cords, chargers inside of here. I'm probably gonna order a set of this next. It's just so cute and I like to stay organized if y'all know me. You can shop these items and so much more over on her website or at Etsy at Shop Architect. So this last home business that I am sharing with you all, the lifestyle brand Bespoke Benny by Natalie Manima. Here's another owner artist who creates her products by hand. She hand sews all of her products from African prints. Natalie sells many, many beautiful products from aprons, oven gloves, pillows, cushions, napkins, so much more home decor. You have to go check it out on her site. So I have had my eye on this one item, but it's been sold out, but I'm not gonna give up because I signed up for the newsletter for when they get a restock and new product in. But it is these mittens. I cook a lot, I absolutely love it. How cool would it be to have a pair of mittens with African prints hand sewn? You can find more about Natalie and all of her products either on her website or on her Instagram at Bespoke Benny. So that is all of the small black businesses that I have to share with you all today. Please take the time to share and support. Remember that all of these products and their pages along with their handles will be linked down below in the description box. And as always, I will talk to y'all later.